Joined alongside by the general manager for the WEC, Reed Harris, this Saturday live and only on the Versus Network, WEC 47, Bowles Cruz, Benavides Torres in the main and the co-main event. Reed, welcome in. What a tremendous weekend we have. It is the Arnold Classic weekend, captivated by WEC 47. Should be a tremendous weekend of combat sports entertainment in Columbus, Ohio. Yeah, we've got a great card. It's probably one of the deepest cards I've ever done. Obviously, the main event, Bulls versus Cruz. I mean, Cruz is a very, very fast. It's going to be hard to hit. and that I think his strategy is going to be that what you can't see, you can't hit. Then you've got Brian Bowles, who's obviously got a, you know not only a knockout punch, which we proved mm -hmm. with uh, in his last fight with Miguel Torres, so a great ground game, good guillotine, one of one, probably one of the best guillotines in the game. So it's going to be an exciting fight. I can't wait. There is really so many fireworks in both these fights. All the fights really have fireworks written all over them, but both Cruz and Bowles and also Benavides and Torres, both guys, all four fighters, do not like, like to take a step backwards. All of them right. continuing to go forward. So something's going to have to give this Saturday. Yeah, you know what's funny is when I watch them, the open workouts and I watch Benavides working with Master Thong on the on the bag and stuff, I'm like, wow, this guy is going to be really tough to beat. His, his, his hand movement, and, and for a guy that started as a wrestler, you know, the way this guy is punching right now, it's it's really the evolution of the sport of MMA, especially in the lightweights. These guys have got to be good at everything in order to compete in our in our show. And obviously, Miguel Torres, you know, his stand-up is as good as it gets. Jiu-Jitsu, black belt, ground game. I, I, who, I don't know who's going to win. It's going to be a great fight. What do you think we're going to see out of Miguel Torres? Just watching him for the past couple of moments, he seems totally rededicated yeah. and there... If there ever was a new Miguel Torres, I think we're going to see it this Saturday. Yeah, Miguel was a dangerous guy before. I think he's even more dangerous now. He told me after his loss, he had to step back and kind of look at what he was doing and look at his career. His guys that he's training with were great, but he wanted to expand on that. You know, he's been training with Drysdale in jiu-jitsu, Delagrati stand-up. I mean, he's got the best guys in the world helping him. He told me that it's going to be a new Miguel Torres when we see him on Saturday night. Reed, what can the fans expect and all? So what has the response been like here in Columbus? Because normally the UFC is here, but now the WEC takes over right. here for the Arnold Classic Weekend. What does it mean for you and the WEC to move here more to the Midwest and take part in this Arnold Classic Weekend? Well, we're obviously honored to be even considered. And, you know, UFC couldn't make it down here this year. They just did Australia. Now they're going to Abu Dhabi. They've got all these shows going on. They're, they're just so busy. Uh, Dana asked if we could step in, and, and we were happy to do it. The response has been great. Media has been great. We were just over at the Arnold's this morning, like walking the floor. We're actually doing our weigh-ins at the Arnold's, which the UFC never even did, so we're really happy about that. The ticket sales are good. We've, you know, we're, we started tickets at $25. We did that because we knew we were coming into a new market, plus we know the economy is slow, and you know, make it easy for people to see our show. Our, our motto is, once you've been to our show, you'll come back. And you know that because you've been to them. Absolutely. The fights are all fast. And what I tell people is make sure you get there for the first fight. Don't wait for the main events. Get there for the prelims because a lot of times those fights are just on fire. Speaking of fights that are on fire, Jose Aldo, Uriah yeah, Faber, the yeah. WEC's first far away into pay-per-view. Read how special of an event is that. Obviously, this one means a lot to you and everyone. Right. Every WEC event is special. But this one, the first time the WEC goes on a pay-per-view, what does it mean for you to take an organization that you started from the ground and also just building it up show by show, year in, year out? Well, it, it means a lot, obviously. And, and obviously, our, you know, my dream was always to be to do an event that was worthy of pay-per-view. You know, we have a lot of help, though. I mean, Dana White, Lorenzo, Frank Fertitta, you know, these guys have been down this road before. They've coached us. They've helped us. They've shown us the way. But we, you, you got to have the fight. And I'll tell you, the, the Faber-Aldo fight and I believe, and I obviously have a promoter, but I believe that could be one of the best fights of the decade. Not just this year, but uh, in the last 10 years since I've been doing this. I've seen both these guys fight. I know what both are capable of. And it's just that kind of style fight where it, it literally could go five rounds. It could go around. No one knows. Uh, Aldo looks unstoppable, but Uriah Faber could be the guy to stop him. And Sacramento, I hear, is already buzzing and has been yeah, buzzing right. since it has been announced. Sacramento, really a special place for the WEC. Are you expecting a record attendance on April in the month of April? Yeah, we are. We, we Our pre-sale broke all previous records. You know, in the first hour, we had sold 2,000-something tickets, I think, and and it's just been going ever since. Uriah Faber is a huge draw. He is the, he is the Sacramento kid. I know he's the mm -hmm. California kid, but he's really the Sacramento kid. And and he has, 
you know, the people of that town love him. I mean, and what's not to love? He, he's 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 one of the best MMA fighters in the world. You know, obviously, the only time he's really lost, you know, he lost to Mike Brown that first time. Second time he broke his hands and, and just proved to everybody what kind of heart this kid's got. If there is one thing that people are talking about, though, they're talking about the amazing fights. It's a tremendous fight card, but forty-four ninety-five. Right. Something that oh, so it's raised some eyebrows. Reed, what are your thoughts? Can you tell us why the price tag is at forty-four ninety-five? Some people are for it; other people are a little bit hesitant. Right. Well, I mean, you know, I obviously expected this because when you're giving people fights for free, which we're going to continue to do on Versus, we expected, you know, that people, some people would not be uh, thrilled to the fact that we're going to pay for your in charge and uh, the, the same price as UFC. But I'll tell you what, when we all sat down and talked, with, you know, Dana, the Fertitas, the, 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 at the end of the day, Dana said, you know what, this is as good a fight as we put on on UFC. We're going to price it the same. This this card and this fight is as good a card as we've put on in a while. People buy the UFC, people will buy this. And Dana was adamant about it, and, and we said, let's do it, you know. Reed, obviously we look forward to that one, but as long as we've known you, can we give can you give us a prediction for this Saturday night's matchups in the main event and the co-main event? Hopefully this time I can get one out of you, but <laughs> Reed, if you can give me a prediction for the WEC Bentonweight Championship between Dominic Cruz, Brian Bowles, also Miguel Torres, Joseph Benavides, Reed Harris, your predictions. My predictions are that these are going to be very, very fast fights, meaning not necessarily fast as far as first round or whatever, but I got a feeling, especially you know watching these guys train this week, that these fights, these guys are not going to slow down. And neither one of these guys, like you said, goes backwards. So I got I, my prediction is exciting fights and that people come to the show are going to leave there happy. The fans are the winners. Reed, greatly right. appreciate the time. We'll see you tomorrow and also on Saturday. Thank you very much. The general manager right. of the WEC, Reed Harris, joining us.